Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video, still on the PTS. We're going to be playing some Sky today, and in a way that you might not really expect if you haven't read over the patch notes, and that is Support Sky, which is probably going to be a viable playstyle if this patch goes through the way it's looking like it's going to go through. Usually the PTS doesn't change too much stuff between when we actually get to test it and it goes live, but maybe with this they will. I have had a little bit of experience with this beforehand, so this isn't as much a first impressions thing as it is I me mean, just showing off something that I think is really, really cool with this patch. I've actually really been enjoying my time so far with the season 3 BTS if you haven't been able to tell through my videos. Although I've delayed this one by a couple days more than I wanted to just because I wanted to do some testing and make sure everything worked the way that it's supposed to, which it doesn't, which I'll get into in a little minute. But yeah, Support Sky, that's the focus of today's video. She's had a ton of changes, but most of them are actually around her being a support character with the talent that they introduced a little while ago, a Smoke and Dagger, which now works completely differently, but they don't actually describe it correctly here in game. So you should be aware of how it works because it's not properly worded. Because as it says here, benefit from smokescreen cards in your loadout will now affect allies who enter a smokescreen alongside affecting you of course but what's missing from that description is if you remember it used to have a 400 heal the 400 heal is gone but it's been replaced by a 200 heal so that it still heals for 200 even if you don't buff it out with cards I don't know why you do that I don't know why you pick this talent without buffing it out with a loadout but it still heals for 200 at base with this talent that is what the talent does alongside this effect that's noted here I don't know why it's not in the description but it does still heal for 200 a second and it also increases the duration by a second so it goes from 5 to 6 but definitely something to be aware of of course because the talent is quite a lot stronger knowing those two things but other than the change to her talent she actually hasn't been changed her base kit is still the exact same her cards have changed a ton and I'm going to go and explain all of those changes real quick before we get into the loyalts and before we get into uh, the actual match first two we should go over which are probably the most important ones considering what we're actually going for today healing vapors has been buffed from 100 to 135 spectre has also been changed from increasing duration to giving you ammo whenever you enter smoke screen it does have a four second internal timer so you can't trigger it all of the time even if you throw out a new smoke screen I'm pretty sure it still has a four second timer on the actual character not the smoke screen itself I haven't really been able to test that one very well so I'm not 100% sure with that but what I did test in custom matches is that it doesn't actually work properly as you can see there it gens four ammo you would expect it to then give that four ammo uh, to whoever the person is that enters your smoke screen if you pick the talent but it doesn't do that it does not work the way you would think it would work it does technically give ammo but it doesn't give the full amount of ammo it does work correctly for you if you're playing sky you will get the ammo that is listed on the card but for whatever reason whenever you do this with a teammate they get half of what they're meant to get so if you've got four it gives two if you have this max level and you make it so that it gives you 20 you will get 20 ammo and you can trigger it multiple times but for whatever reason our friendlies with the talent only get 10 they get half of it no idea why this card is broken all of the other ones work fine but for whatever reason spectre is just busted and gives half of the amount out of your teammates instead of giving the full value no idea why a couple of the cards were also changed dissipate was moved from being a two second buff to a three second buff this one does seem to work correctly unlike spectre and so does healing vapors both of these two cards here seem to work perfectly fine a Decrepify was pulled down from 0.6 a level to 0.5 and Poisoner was pulled down from 1 second a level to 0.8 so that infinite ammo sky thing is like a little bit less strong now and healing sky is significantly better. Also Victory Rush was pulled down from 8 to 4 nearly forgot that one. And also Slip Away and Tactical Reload which are two cards I've never actually seen in game give 4 ammo instead of 3 and I think this was like 4 or 3% before now it's 7 which is actually pretty decent for sky I can imagine somebody rocking this card level 5 and just being turbo whenever they're not in a fight but it's not something I would imagine people using regularly because she's got so many other decent cards so yeah there we go those are all the sky changes i feel like that took me forever to explain we'll actually jump into a match now and play with the talent and also the loadout and you may notice that i still have spectre in there even though it's busted and gives half of the amount of ammo it's meant to give to your teammates i still have it mainly because even at half it's still pretty decent because if i can give six ammo to like a strix or a makoa that's pretty damn good that's like nearly a full mag for a lot of characters whereas others are like rom or something it's not really doing anything but yeah that's kind of why the video got delayed by like a day or two because i wanted to make sure everything actually worked the way it's supposed to. I didn't play it in a game though. I only tried it out in custom matches and target practice. I haven't actually played this in like an actual game yet. So this will still be like my first impressions with the new healer sky, I suppose. Also just to give you like the quick maths on what the healing numbers actually are, it is 875 over two seconds. And obviously if you cut that in half, it's like 437.5 every second, which is a ridiculously high amount of healing compared to all of the other healers who've actually been nerfed this patch. Sky is in a better position healer wise than ever. And as you've probably seen on some of the PTS videos I posted already, sky support is actually working pretty damn well and I really hope that this goes into live because I just want to see Skies being played as like a healer. Alright well it looks like for game one we've got Siege Fish Market which I would say is a bit of a tough map for this but we've got Drogos, Tiberius and Serious. No tank thank you very much. I massively do appreciate that. That is a smiley face in the chat for that. I, I appreciate him actually switching. <laughs> well it looks like he went for Ash. The whole team is quite happy that he switched there. Shoutouts to Skyly99. Not sure if I'm saying that right. We're up against Grover, a Torvald, a Tiberius, a Ruckus and a Terminus. So that is a healer, triple tank and then Tiberius. 
Tiberius. Okay, well, I would usually go for Debilitate Sky here, because this is nearly a perfect situation to use it, but considering I've already done the intro to the video, I'm going to stick to my decision of Support Sky, which will still work well. We still have our Poison Bolts, which shred through tanks and stuff. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab the Tarn. We'll probably go for this version of the loadout that gives 12 ammo, because that basically fully refreshes Drogo's uh, Ceres. I think it also refreshes Tiberius and Ash, but yeah, it should do, right? I really should be starting out with, like, Wrecker here. I think I think Wrecker and Cauterize is going to be in order, to be honest, against that team. Hopefully, our guys go for the same thing. We've got Battering Ram, Tigran's Fury, Mortal Reach, Fuser Lard. We're up against Rampant Blooming. Thanks, Grandpa. Vicious Assault. I need to get used to these new talent names. Crush is an interesting choice here. And then Arrakis hasn't picked just yet. Those are the loadouts as well. I'm going to go through those in a little minute. I just need to actually focus on the match and run in. Looks like Term is going left. Let's just dismount my Poison Bolt so he can't block him. That was a big brain play. He's just kind of chilling here on the left. There's Poison Bolt over there for you. Look at that heal. It's 100 and like freaking 10 a tick nearly. It's actually ridiculous. We'll throw it right down here again. Just continuously hold left click. That is the term down there. There's poison bolts for you. Just get as much free damage as we can. I did just invis, but for some reason it didn't work. We'll throw the poison bolts here. Hello, Tiberius. Oh, my accuracy was bad, but he's gone. Oh, term, you're just on me. Okay, I'm just going to try and leave. My mouse was like really, really stuttery there. That was kind of weird. There's poison bolts. There's a Q. Can we keep Tiger alive? Indeed, we can. Trying to hold pressure on the point. Although I'm doing freaking potato damage to this Torvald. We'll throw a Q. Hello, term. That's going to stun me. I realized that just as you were falling down. God damn it. I could have counterplayed that. Maybe somehow. <laughs> Why is my invis not working? I've like used my F multiple times. It's just not put me in it. Let's go ahead and throw an ult because their guys are all just sitting on the point. Term is running in those poison bolts for him. We'll try and shred him. I really wish I'd gone for poison bolt sky here. I'd be doing so much better. Can we finish off him? No, I'm just going to chill in my heal. We'll use our invis. There we go. It actually worked correctly. Poison bolts for Tigran. He's out. A nice. I mean, I didn't even get the kill, but there's some poke damage. We'll throw that over there for the heal on him. There we go. He's using this little twirly stuff. There's poison bolts for you. I can probably get rid of him here. Ash just went ahead and slammed him. I'm just going to go ahead and finish him off. Never mind, she can do it. There's the little Q. Sadly, there's no way for me to really tell how effective my ammo regen's being because, you know, it's not a stat or anything. There's a Q on her. She's dead, even though that deals, like, way less damage now. That's down to, like, 2.4k or whatever. Poison Bolt's on you. I'm just going to try and leave. Thank you, Sarah, for the heal. That was clutch. Oh, I just tried to use the VGS and it's changed, isn't it? I forget that we've got new VGS. Jeez. I'm not saying they should revert the VGS change. I'm just saying I'm really not used to it. And sometimes it really sucks when I'm trying to say thank you and I accidentally just hit nothing. Let's get some more hits over on this term. I'm just throwing out so much damage so far this game. Can you tell? I'm like focused on damage even though I'm support sky. There's a Q for you. I don't think my ult's going to do anything, but that's fine. Drop down. There goes the Grover. Cool. Looks like they're going for like a flank type thing here. He's spinning around. I'm not really sure what's going on. I can take shielding off him even though he's immune to damage. I'm just dead. Holy shit, my health went down there fast. I thought I had like a K and a half left. Never mind. We'll get uh, some more Wrecker. I'm getting such a big heal from that, but that term is really chasing me, huh? You really just want me gone, huh? I see how it is. There's my Q. I'm just going to invis. I'm probably going to get stunned. We juked him. Oh my god, we just juked him so good. Although, probably shouldn't have revealed myself. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like my damage is just ass. It doesn't even feel like my wreck is doing anything to him, to be honest. Let's get rid of him, maybe. Throw the Q just here. That Tigran is just dashing around. He's really, really low. I'm going to throw the ult. I'm going to just go for it, see if we can get a kill or two. He's out. Poison bolts for the turn. There's a double. He's going to ult. Yep, that's predictable as hell. He might get this push, actually. I'm going to try and hold it, see if we can get rid of him. He's really, really low. I'm stunned. That stun has shut me down like three times now. Can't even be mad. That talent choice I thought was silly, but he shredded me with it. We're still kind of holding this over time, but I really don't see us getting it. The Tigran is doing his little flippy flips, but the Grover's ulting so he's just doing them for kind of nothing here. We are still contesting it. Drogos is sat in spawn, which is a sad sight, but there we go. Defense fail. Poison bolts for you. I'm just going to go ahead and try and wiggle away. Maybe get a couple little dinks before the round's over. I didn't die at least. I don't know if our Drogos is playing or what's going on. Tiberius dropped an XD. Okay. Well, he is getting some cooler ice. I'm happy about that. Ceres is going for a wrecker. We've also got a bit of caught on Drogos. Ash is going for max skill to heal. I honestly don't know what this game is, but I'm trying to do my best in the situation I've been given, okay? Wrecker only being like a 40% increase feels so crappy. I don't know where the hell that Ceres was trying to do with the ult. She's probably gone now, or maybe not. We can throw that down to her to get a little bit of a heal. We'll get some dinks over on this Torv. I don't know what he's going for. This term is like the biggest issue for me, for sure. I'm actually going to die. But there we go. Objective lost. I think uh, Drogas has been replaced by a bot, which I, I guess is fine. They have a bot too, but they're going to win anyway because they have a double tank with a healer and a Tiberius for damage, and we are not doing really anything at a counter. I should be paying more attention to the actual game because this Tiberius was right here, and I'm probably dead. Well, it's definitely looking like this game's going to be a loss. Drogas is just ulting in circles. I don't know if he he's a player or if he's a bot if he's a bot then the bots really need an update fam what the hell was that hello term there's poison bolts for you i'm gonna have good damage even if this is a loss you know my damage has been pretty good i guess there's some things over there for you go ahead and throw an ult see if we can get something with it tiberius is i guess running in that ult is not gonna get anybody but makes my stats look a little bit better and there is the loss it was a pretty rough game we'll do a second one hopefully we have a better time than that That was a really crappy situation not just because of the map but also uh, the teams were a little bit odd but grover is the man uh, with top play i do recognize his name i think i might have played with him before
It gets an assist on Drogos. He gets rid of the Ceres. He gets a bunch of hits on the Tigrin. Not a Tigrin, it's Tiberius. He ults and then gets like an assist, I think. I mean, no, it's a bit of a weird top play, but sure, we'll go ahead and jump into game two. I'll go over the stats real quick and we'll jump into the match. And there we go. There are the stats for game one. Shoutouts to Alba S16 and Stealth Shot G. I'm guessing that's how you say those names. I have no clue. If we go through the stats really quick because there's not really much point. Ash, I guess, did fine. Ceres did, I guess, fine. The Drogos didn't do very well. Uh, the Tiberius, I guess, did the best there out of the other four. I don't really know what the hell that match was. We have 67k damage and 13k heals. Considering the situation there, I'm fine with that. I wasn't even really playing that well, but I feel like even if I was, that would not have been a win. Their term, shredded. Props to him. He was definitely the biggest issue for me. Tiberius had played pretty decently. The Grover played pretty damn well as well. Torvald was a little bit more passive, but he was still kind of annoying, and then Ruckus was a bot. I feel like that match was very, very mismatched. Yeah, that's that's literally what I'm going to go with. Matchmaking, you done it again. Let's go ahead and do a game two. Not really going to change anything with the alerts. I feel like it worked fine there. I feel like overall sports guy is great. That was just not one of those situations. So we might even do three. We'll see. All right, well, let's go for game two. Shout outs to my pants. Just flew and raging a poor hero. He said healer sky is great. Frost Fang's got 110k heals with that. I've seen people do really, really well with it so far on the PTS, but we've got Siege Bazaar as the map. Drogos, Tiberius, Torvald, uh, Fury, and me on sky. We've changed up the skin to maybe make the queue like a little bit more obvious. Drogos is a little bit harder to heal because he can fly around and stuff, but it does have a little bit of verticality to it. And on the enemy side, we're up against Maeve, Barak, Moji, Tiberius, and IO. Oh, of course, we'll go ahead and grab the Tat and then the Loader. This weapon is significantly bigger, but uh, the Q is a hell of a lot more obvious. And then for some reason, it becomes impossible to see. We'll go ahead and grab Kronos this time around. It makes a lot of sense. But why does it have such fancy effects and then you can't even see the outline? I feel like I'm an idiot for picking this skin because this makes the Q so much worse. I picked it because I thought it would be loud and it would be better, but nope, I think I got the opposite. Do we grab Rejuvenate? I think we'll just wait and get items later. We've got Thanks Grandpa, Fuser La, Tigran's Fear, which I've been seeing a lot, Street Justice, Architect Trunks, Lifelink, which got nerfed, although it's not nerfed to 180 like I thought it was. It's nerfed to 200, so the patch notes are wrong. Boom, boom, and Tigran's Fury. I missed something in the chat. Uh, Fury AFK. Is that our Fury? Okay, that kind of sucks. I think she might have just come back, though. Either way. Okay, now the outline shows. Why didn't it show before? I just poison bolted his shield. I have a tiny brain. I'm just going to get rid of this Maeve, who just got silenced. Well done, Torv. There's a heal for him. Nice. Let's get a Dink or two up there. My frame rate, for some reason, is currently pretty ass. I don't know why. I've not really had frame rate issues on this map before, but right now they're kind of sucking. I'm going to use the F and go up here. Follow this Torvald and try and dodge as much as I can. We'll throw the Q. There we go. We'll throw the right click over there, which missed. I feel like it must be this skin, although I haven't actually played on this map yet, this patch. So maybe this match is, for some reason, just way worse. Now there's my Q. It is a lot more obvious than it was with the default one, but for some reason in spawn it didn't show off very well. Hello, Maeve. There's Poison Bolts. I'm just going to walk back into my spawn door. Never mind. There goes freaking... Okay, you just dashed through that door. Wait, hold on. I was about to say, there goes Torvald, but that Maeve just dashed through that door. Was the gate not up? I'm pretty sure the gate was up. Okay, I guess it wasn't up for her. It was very, very up for me. <laughs> <laughs> not actually sure if we have a Fury currently or not. I think we do, but I'm honestly I'm not 100% sure. I feel like I've actually been doing okay so far on the heals, but it's been a little bit of a tough game. There's Poison Bolts over there that didn't hit anybody. I'm just going to throw an all, all the way out the back, see if we can get somebody with it. There we go, double kill. I'll take that. My frame rate is so bad on this map for, like, no reason. There is a Q. Did that just not go anywhere? Why did my Q just not work? Why, why did my Q just not deploy? I, I don't know what's going on. Can I throw a Q now, please? Uh, there we go. Okay, for some reason my Q just didn't go out before. I definitely didn't miss it. No, it just didn't go out. There's poison bolts for Moji, and I'm nearly gone. I think it's this grass. Yeah, no, this grass doesn't have a floor texture, so I actually can't throw my Q on it. That's a really serious bug. Legit, if I throw my Q there. Okay, it deploys here. For some reason, this one is solid, but the grass up there isn't. That's a really, really serious issue that I hope gets fixed because that's, like, massive. I don't think that's this patch. I'm pretty sure that's been there the entire time. I might be wrong, though. I'll get some shots over here. I really wish I had my Q to throw out, but sadly, I don't. There it is. Okay, cool. Get some heals on him. There's poison bolts for the back. Frame rate is still really really bad on this map i don't know how much it will show on the video because the video is 60 fps but right now it's feeling kind of ass it looks like we're actually going to be able to hold it which is good there's a q it does actually deploy on the point which is good even though it doesn't deploy on the floor sometimes it deploys on the point which is important see if we can get tiberius out before the round's over there we go get some poison bolts on her throw the q just for no reason all right there we go one one i'm pretty sure it's this grass because as you can see when i shoot into it it doesn't have an effect so if i throw my q yeah it just it just doesn't it just doesn't do it <laughs> The fact that the ammo card doesn't work properly was already kind of funny to me, but the fact that my Q just doesn't work in some areas on this map is just genuinely ridiculous. I cannot believe that that's in the game, and I'm pretty sure that's in live as well, because that was not changed on this patch at all. Throw the Q there, maybe get rid of this Maeve. Nice for your ult coming through clutch. Frame rate is still absolutely terrible. Maybe they did change it, I don't know. Frame rate's been really bad so far, but I can't tell if that's maybe me using the skin that I don't usually use, or if it's the map, or what it is, but let's continue holding shots on these guys. Maybe we can get rid of this IO. Oh, I have to reload. Give me one sec, IO. There we go. I probably should have just thrown 
on my Q because that gives ammo. Barak is now ulting. Okay, he just got stunned by fear. We'll go in and maybe dink him. That was a bad idea. I just got myself killed. Why did I think that would work? Let's get rid of this Maeve. Maybe there's poison bolts for her. Nice, she's out. We'll throw the Q there. That gives me a bit of a speed buff. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the point though. No, that's for sure. Hello, I hope. There we go. You're gone. We'll throw an ult just there and use my invis and then maybe go under. That's a double. Sick, I'll take that. There's a right click for you. Let's see if we can get like a quadra or some stuff. I forget that gives me ammo. I forgot that gave me ammo. That would have been a quadra if I realized that I would have got ammo from my Q, but here we go. Nice one. Throw the Q here. Here we go. Get a little bit of self heal going on. Get some dinks over there on this Tiberius. He's nearly out. Oh my god, that shield freaking blocked a shot even before it fully deployed. Hello, May. Poison bolt in your noggin. Get some more heals with the Q. People are actually paying attention to it, which is nice. These guys are actually trying to walk in my Q, which I appreciate because I know some of these guys recognize me and want me to have good stats. We'll throw the ult back there. Poison bolt him. That silence was pretty clutch, although they're still going to juke it. Io is totally dead here, or she should be at least. We'll throw the Q. We'll see if we can maybe deal with this Moji first because I don't want her to burst me. I'll use the F. I'm dead. I think they have a bit of Illuminate. There they do. Okay, Tiberius has it but nobody else so that was a shitty excuse don't think we actually have a drogos is this the same drogos as before why have i had two disconnected drogos or two disconnects at all this is the pts why are people disconnecting they kind of see that we've had dcs i haven't had the pts crash on me but maybe it's just unstable i don't know we'll use uh, the f i'll just see if i can keep a heal on this torp he's going for the ult nice let's get rid of this mave for some reason i didn't actually get poison bolts on there but i think she's still there though the q here actually deployed thank god because you know sometimes it just decides it doesn't want to if i hit the grass there's uh, uh, poison bolts on you back get some shots throw the q down i think he's probably dead he went for the ult don't know if that went on cooldown or not but he is gone the poison bolts for io as well double kill sick i'm playing healer sky here and yeah i'm like focusing on damage don't know what's wrong with me but there we go defense successful two two and nine minutes this game might still have a chance of being a win but it ain't looking too good so far we'll finish off our chronos maybe i should get some wreck or what should i go for i'm not really sure why has our drogos gone for nimble morale boost and kill to heal i don't feel like he's a player no he's he's definitely he's definitely he's definitely not a player <laughs> I'm just going to stick in the middle here and make sure this Torv can stay alive. Rip Torv. Literally just I said that. Let's throw the ult back there. That was unnecessary. It did go pretty far. Then maybe we'll get a kill or two with it. Oh shit, I actually just got two people. Let's poison bolt him. There's a triple. Nice. Let's uh, push further on. Right, did that Furious Stun hit anybody? I don't know. Let's see if we can get IO. That did not work properly. Let's throw uh, the Q and go for the long one. We'll go for the long flank, boys. I'll use the F and see if I can maybe get a surprise kill on her. We'll get Tiberius instead. Oh shit, that burst and lifesteal. I guess I'll just die then. <laughs> Maybe get rid of this Tiberius. There we go. Nice. He's out. We'll throw a Q here. There's my F. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't really know. Poison bolts for Io. Let's get rid of her. That's sick. Let's go ahead and throw a Q down again. Why am I playing like this? What am I doing? There's poison bolts for Maeve. I'm just leaving that Moji alone. She's in that corner. I'm not going to disturb her for no reason. There's my Q again. There's that right click on you. I don't know if you're a person or not. Moji's playing really weird. My frame rate has been bad the entire match, by the way. It's really, really not fun. The last one was fine, so it's definitely got something to do with the map, I reckon. There's the poison bolts, or it could also be the skin. I honestly don't know. Is he dashing in? No, he's dashing back. There's some more little dinks. There is Mr. Poison Bolts on you. Oh, Maeve went for the ult. There's my F. There goes Maeve because he was tracking her. We'll go ahead and throw an ult just here. Sure, play super aggressive. See if we can get somebody with it. The effects on that are way over the top. And that's another double. Why have I had so many successful Sky ults so far? That's another team wipe. I've had like three good Sky ults. Usually I'm ass with it. They have a hell of a lot of record just for Torb. That is three records and only two courts. Maybe that's why my healing still feels pretty good. We'll throw the Q up there. There we go. Heal the Drogas and everybody else as well. Poison Bolts down the middle. Nice. I think our Tiberius just tried to ult either that that was theirs i'm not sure so it was there tiberius but he's dead i don't know if the torvald science stops him in any way but he's gone there's poison bolts for you why am i still fighting how am i still alive even let's get rid of this moji there we go nice i don't think that moji's a person because she's just spamming left and right click i'm pretty sure emoji's a bot hello mave there's poison bolts for you which kind of worked i'm tracking you like shit but uh, she is dead there we go throw the q down again Get right click on tiberius mow him down a little bit there we go double i'm playing way better damage wise than i am healing wise it definitely looks like we're gonna have the win here though there goes moji torv going for the ult uh, Barak trying to F himself in but there's the win honestly was expecting that to be a loss so my excitement is just completely dead because I thought we were going to lose that and we also have top play which I'm quite surprised about I'm guessing it's like the triple we got at one point with uh, the ult we get rid of Maeve or an assist on the Maeve I go ahead and I think throw an ult back here and get two of them somehow we get rid of the IO we throw an ult at the back I think Torvald Sands does affect Tiberius and then we get a two with that and we also kill the Barak who for some reason was bugged and was showing as if he was back at spawn when he wasn't and there we go there are the stats for game two definitely didn't do a great job of showing off healer sky as you can see only got a 63k which is technically second highest that match we had 50 percent more heals on the fury whilst having 5k under the io but also at the same time dealing 100k damage which is highest that game i'm honestly quite happy with my stat there overall we went 29 to 5 to 20 with 85 seconds on the point really really good damage our drogos had a bit of a tough time tiberius didn't do amazing but he didn't do badly fury did really really well she only has two deaths she doesn't have a crazy stat but she only died uh, twice
Tiberius Tobot did pretty damn good, 111k. Barak did pretty decent. Moji, I don't think, was a person for most of that. Tiberius, I did pretty decent. IO did pretty damn good. And I guess Moji, I did fine. We'll go ahead and do another one because I don't feel like that first game was really that great. That second game, it was me more playing damage than playing support. So we'll do game three. I'll treat you to game three. But if you've been enjoying the video and you want to see me do more long stuff, just drop a like on it. I'd massively appreciate it. Helps the video out. Uh, this cooldown sucks. Yeah, it got replaced with cooldown reduction on the queue. Uh, I think they're talking about the Fury thing where you can't reduce the cooldown of the right click. Instead, it just resets the queue. I can see how that would be a kind of annoying. We've got Siege Bright Marsh as the map. This is probably a good situation for this. Uh, shout outs to Akatsuki Faint. He said, I was just watching your video for joining this match. That's kind of funny timing. Shout outs to him. Shout outs also to IFNM and also I'm Thicky Nicky. You gotta love those two names. I did ask for more tanks because it would be really nice to actually have a decent heal stat and try and show it off a bit better. We've got an Ara, who I imagine is quite a good combo for this if he does go for an Ara. Yep, there we go. We've also got Tiberius, Maeve, and Ceres. We're up against Charlin, Torvald, Talus, Furia, and Tiberius. So my goal for this match is going to be to beat that Furia. If we can have more healing than her and also more damage, then honestly, I'll be set. We're also going to switch up the skin because I want to see what this one looks like. Voice is starting to go, as you can probably tell this happens whenever I record a lot, but I hope you have enjoyed the videos. I really enjoy making stuff so far on the PTS, and you guys seem to just be shredding it with the sports. So obviously, I'm going to keep it coming, but uh, it's the same person from the last game on Torvald. Uh, my pants just flew, and I think I've also maybe played with that Talus before because I recognize the name. For this one, considering the team setup, I'm actually going to go for the one that has less ammo and more uh, reset. It makes way more sense. The only person with like a ton of ammo is Tiberius, and even then, he only has like 10. Ceres isn't really something I want to consider. Anara has very, very little, and Maeve has infinite, so this is definitely the more sensible loader in most situations anyway because of the reset, which you obviously want. As much as the ammo regen is cool, it just also isn't as useful as like being able to actually uh, throw out your Q more in the first place. There's poison bolts on him. See, now we get a full reset from it. Now it feels way, way more normal. He's actually locked in here with us. Hello, Talus. There is a Q. I'm not really hitting an arrow with that, sadly, but uh, Torvald is gone. Nice. Okay, can I land my poison bolts on somebody? That'd be nice to get my reset. Yeah, there we go. There's the Q. <laughs> Throw the poison bolts again. Yeah, there we go. There's the Q on the point. I probably should have thrown it on Tiberius, but it's fine. I might go and see if I can get like a flank or something. I should be playing like a healer, but I'm, I'm going to still play freaking Sky aggressively because screw it. Throw the Q down. There we go. Get a reset and throw it down again in a second. I just need to wait a little bit. She's in the heal now, which is good. I think this Charlin's probably dead. He's using his ult, but I'm pretty sure he's a goner. There's poison bolts. Oh, he's moving when he's in his goddamn plant. I'm so not used to that. He's dead though. Well done, Tiberius. Looks like this is probably going to be a team wipe, although I ain't looking too good and that Tiberius is kind of shredding a little bit. I don't know how I killed Fear. I think I must have hit her with a poison bolt, but oh, he's nearly gone. He's nearly gone. There we go. We'll throw the Q down again. Just kind of wiggle a little bit. This is a pretty tense push, but there's poison bolts for him. There's the Q on Anara. Get some little dinks over there on the Shaolin. Get a couple little hits up there if we can. Throw a poison bolts. There we go. Feels way, way better to play with the reset. I'd much rather have reset than ammo regen, especially in the situations where it doesn't even make sense to have uh, the ammo regen. There goes Tiberius. There's the Q. There's the right click as well, which we threw just before. There's Charlin. I saw he was low. We'll throw an alt bang in the middle. See if we can get somebody with it. I don't know what my play is. Is that going to kill anybody? I did just deal 3k to something. There is my Q. This is a very, very messy play. Hello, Talos. Also, my frame rate's better now. Probably should mention that. My frame rate sucked in the last game. It's perfectly fine. So I think it's got to do with the map or the skin. It's one of the two. I am very, very close to being dead. I'm in a bit of a weird spot. Let's throw poison bolts on him. Did I land those? I, I think I landed a couple because my reset uh, kind of happened. We'll throw the Q a little bit further back and just wait for Aranara to come back. Another unintentional rhyme. Poison bolts there. There we go. Throw a Q again. Get a couple dinks on this Talos, who's not looking very good. I think we're gonna have to wait for her to come back before we can like push through. But here she is. There's another Q there. I think Maeve is kind of going round. He went for an ult. Oh, the heal from that Furia beam was just instant. Okay, she's going for the ult. See if we can get rid of him. There we go. Furia went for the ult. Aranara went for the ult. I don't know if I called that out wrong, but there we go. It seems like we're gonna make this push. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be 2 0 here. There goes Torv. Let's also get rid of this Furia in a sec. There's Poison Bolts, which missed, but she's dead any second. Just need to reload. There we go. Throw the Q down again and get rid of this Talus. And he's out. There's the freaking push. That felt like that took forever ever, but we finally got it. It was only four minutes. I don't know why that felt like that went on for so long. I think it's probably because I didn't die once. I actually don't have a single death yet. We'll go ahead, finish off Kronos. Nice. Now it's got like a nine second cooldown, which is barely even really being pulled down at all, but it does also help with the right click and the F, so I, I can't really complain. Shoutouts to Anara. This has been really, really fun to play, though. I hope I've done this justice because it really is tons of fun. It's also really, really good, which is a perfect combination. It's also just something you should try out. It's great. I think you also need to match a skin to it, though, because that last skin or the last map was causing lag. One of the two, Charlene, please. I don't kill me. I'm, I'm gone. I knew he was there. I knew Charlin was there. He used his F and then he just hit me and went into planted and I, I died. I had a 13 streak there as well. It's completely my own fault for a dumb play, but uh, Tiberius is going behind the lines or to the sidelines, I guess, and got a double. Thicky Nicky just went ahead and killed Charlin. Well, here we go. Objective capture. I did basically nothing that round. I died and then the team did the rest of the work. So there you go. Poison bolts over there on you. We'll throw an ult at the back. I don't know if that stopped. It did stop because I hit the goddamn dude's face. I don't know 
who it was, but I hit somebody's face there. Is missed poison bolts. Can I get back up here, please? All right, see you later, enemy team. You know, even if I have close to the furious heals and like way more damage, that's honestly a win. This is genuinely like a viable playstyle option. I'm just excited to hopefully see like freaking healer sky in like a live game. That's just going to be great. In ranked, can you imagine healer sky being like a ranked meta thing? That's crazy. Throw the Q here. Just keep throwing out shots. That's the Ceres going for an ult and Anara going for the combo. That is Torvald comboing with somebody else. Why did I just get stunned? I don't even know what the hell stunned me. Tell us. He's going for like an awkward flank. He's dead. Just continuously throwing out poison bolts and heals. That's literally my job. I hope I have a good stat. That's honestly all I can really ask for. Oh, this Tiberius is doing some weird jumps. I'm actually just going to dip inside real quick and throw out a poison bolts on you. So I have the Q reset. Anara is luckily running to it. So I got to give her props for having awareness. There's poison bolts again. There's another Q. Dodge the freaking thing from Fury. This is such a messy play. Poison bolts on her. Throw the Q over. There we go. She's gone. Get rid of this Torvald. I reckon we're probably going to get the wipe here. I'm pretty sure we're going to get the wipe here. Tiberius is just doing flips and stuff. There goes Charlim. There goes Torv. And I'm pretty sure that's the win. I can throw the ult up there. Actually, they might still defend this. I'm not sure. Tiles just ulted and pretty sure Tiberius is gone. And there's the victory. Okay, I thought they were going to get it. Never mind. Feel weird ending the video because I've kind of just played Damage Sky whilst also healing at the same time, which is probably the way they intend you to use this. So maybe I did a good job. I don't know. I feel like I've done a really mediocre job of showing this off. But I don't know. If you guys have enjoyed the video, then that's really all that matters. But uh, Tiberius has top play. It's the play where I died earlier on. Yeah, he killed Torvald, then he killed Fury, then he killed Talos, and I think he got an assist on somebody else. Fair enough. That was like a team wipe. That was the play where I did nothing and we capped the point. <laughs> and there we go. There are the stats for game three. I underestimated what I was doing that match. Pretty clearly there. I have 61.5k heals, which is more than the Fury and more than our Ceres. But not only is it more healing than the Ceres and the Fury, we also have a pretty decent amount of damage. I think somebody's just gift spamming me now. It's not even showing up on my screen, but that sound effect is kind of annoying. Uh, Frost, OMG, uh, you did more heals than me. XD. That is our Ceres. I did pretty damn good. Honestly, I'm quite happy with the stat there. I feel, feel like I didn't do like a great job of showing it off, but clearly I did there. If you look at the stats across the games, other than the first one, I feel like I did pretty good. And even in that first one, I did the best that I could in the situation. So I'll take it. Hopefully I have done it justice. Obviously you're going to do better in more ideal situations. And we haven't really had one of those today, but you know, most matches aren't going to be an ideal situation. So it'd be kind of unfair for me to show that off anyway. If we go through the stats, Ceres did pretty good. Maeve did pretty decent, although kind of low on the damage. Anara, I did pretty standard for Anara and Tiberius did pretty damn good. 15743k on their side. Talos did fine. Charlene did fine. Fine, Torvald did fine, Fury did fine, and Tiberius did fine as well. All of them did pretty standard. We overall have quite low damage numbers, but I think that's just because we were winning a more team fights and we were just healing for a lot more overall. We have 110 plus K heals overall on our side and they have 40k. That's definitely a big reason as to why. As you can probably tell, my voice is basically completely gone now. I've been recording for like an hour plus and I've been recording just a ton recently because of the PTS being up and me wanting to cover so much stuff. But I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope I have done Healer Sky just as because it is genuinely uh, crazy. Obviously, I could record more than like handpick a game where I get like 200k heals and call that crazy because I have like three tanks on an ideal map when people pick up rejuvenate and stuff but this is a much more close to reality situation where you will get a crap ton of healing you will get a crap ton of damage and overall you'll make a really big impact but obviously in most situations you're not going to get like 300k heals unless it's like a really long siege game with very specific teams but either way this has just been tons of fun thank you so much for watching leave a like if you've enjoyed the video I'll see you guys all very very soon hopefully with a less raspy voice and as always stay frosty and play healer sky please it's so much fun <laughs>